Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Manus Outdoors. Got a real special video for you today. You're not going to want to miss this one, so don't go away. All right, guys, my channel is growing very, very fast, very rapidly. And just to show my appreciation for that, you know, I was going to give a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. And I hit 5,000 subscribers and started getting in contact with some people to sponsor the giveaway. And by the time I got a hold of all that, I'm almost at 6,000. The channel is growing really, really fast. You know, I can't, can't thank you guys enough. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I really do. But, you know, <clears throat> one thing about subscriber count is, you know, you can have 10 million subscribers. It really doesn't matter. You know, if 10 million people aren't watching your videos, it doesn't matter. My videos are really getting a lot of views, and I, I definitely appreciate that as well. So, just to show you guys my appreciation and the, the, the support that you guys showed my channel, I wanted to give a giveaway, and this one is a pretty special giveaway. What I wanted to give away <clears throat> was a Pathfinder field bag. And this bag is an amazing bag, guys. Let me get a close-up of it. This is a very, very cool bag, guys. I'm gonna go through. I just put a little bit of stuff in here, nothing crazy, but sort of like a haversack. What this is called is the Pathfinder Field Bag. I'm gonna throw this on real quick. I'll throw it on this way. This bag rides amazing. Just kind of hugs right into you. It's a really, really cool bag, guys. Sits nicely. My assistant instructor, Austin really is in love with this bag he's entering the contest as well <laughs> all right guys so let's just kind of go through this bag and like i said i just put some random stuff in here just to show you how the bag fills out but right up front there's a zippered pouch and you know i just throw some stuff in here I've got my lansky puck and a couple other items my trapping kit you know i got some snares in there with beeswax <laughs> Dog sitting over there going crazy. He wants to play. He's ready to go on the trails. You know, I got my my fat wood with some with a bandana and stuff like that. And that's the just that little compartment right there. Nice enclosure right here. You know, this isn't like Velcro or anything like that. This is actually like a metal closure. I'll just twist open like that. In the front there, you can see clear plastic. It's where your uh, your map would go. Really, really nice addition to this pack. You know, and this would be great for like an orienter, you know, someone that's in like an orientating club and stuff like that. You know, your compass go right there, a pen and a pad for marking down azimuths and uh, keep a track of where you're at as far as that goes. Got a small pouch down here, just threw a fire kit in there. On the sides, it's got all kinds of little uh, spaces for things. Uh, I've got a pouch on the bottom here, threw my headlamp in there, spare batteries in there. You know, th this bag is, is amazing, guys. I mean, so many little cubbies and stuff. You know, I, I me, myself, I'm kind of guy that kind of likes a, uh, just like a dump pouch, throw everything in, kind of as organized as it goes. But this is really, really nice. Lots of different places to put things, to keep things organized, to know where they are at a moment's notice. You know, I just put a... Um, five by seven reflective tarp in the in there really nice and spacious bag on the back side flat flaps up like that and you can just access the contents this way or it actually completely unzips and you can access the contents that way you know got a place for a baco things like that a little bag for uh my tender bag basically this is the contents of my haversack minus a couple different things you know this has like hard backings in here you know I i'm suspecting that this might be for you know electronics like maybe an ipad or something like that i don't carry any of that stuff i don't even own any of that stuff <clears throat> about the most i own is a laptop and that's if i didn't have to process videos i wouldn't even own that there's that bag all back together completely empty now a little bit a little bit on the heavy side for a bag uh it's because of like i said the hard shell backing that's in there and uh like i said i think that's pretty much for uh carrying electronics in the woods like maybe a kindle so you can have uh ebooks on there things like that an ipad what have you you know people have 
reasons for carrying electronics in the woods. Like I said though, this would make a great pack for an orienter, like an or, um, somebody that's in an orienting group. This, uh, this bag is called the Pathfinder Field Bag. It retails for about 50 bucks uh, through Self-Reliance Outfitters. All right guys, so here's that bag. I'm just show you guys with it on. It rides, like I said, it rides perfectly. It's a great bag. Very, very extremely comfortable bag. Go ahead and kind of get up into the camera a little bit more. <clears throat> Tell you what's going on. All right, guys, so what I wanted to do for this bag was have a video challenge. And what I mean by that is, if you've been watching my channel lately, you know that we've had a series on trapping. And what I would like for you guys to do is to videotape one primitive trap, make and set up one primitive trap, and then set that trap off so I know it's, it's functional. You, know, you can just use your fingers, a stuffed animal, whatever you want to, just so I know that that trap is 100% functional. It, the snare works, catches the animal, catches your hand, whatever. Uh, I would like for you to identify one plan. If you've been watching my channel, I do tons and tons of plant identification. There is a lot of plant identification on my channel, and there's more to come, in fact. All right, guys, so the third part to this challenge is I want two different fires. And I would like a man-made tender for one, and then a natural tender for another. And that's it. So three steps to this. One primitive trap, one plant identified, and two different fires. One with a man-made tender, another with a natural tender. Pretty easy. All you have to do is, if you have a YouTube channel, obviously, if you want to upload it to your channel, you can make the video private if you'd like. Uh, then just send me a link, and then I, I can view it from there. Uh, make it public if you'd like. You know, I want this to be a learning experience for everybody. You know, guys get out there in the woods and do your thing and we'll show it to everybody else. You know? Well, again, like I said, guys, I just wanted to show my appreciation for all the support that I'm getting and the, the way the channel is growing is just phenomenal in my opinion. So I wanted to kind of issue this challenge for this bag and, you know, make you guys get out there and, and have some fun, do a video, you know, make some traps, Get out there and look at some plants and you know make some fires all right guys well, this has been william myers mass outdoors like i said i just wanted to show my appreciation hope you guys are enjoying everything that i'm doing with the channel we're going to be continuing in our trapping series and our budget blade series and we have a couple other series that we're going to start up we're going to start up a bushcraft basic series and that's kind of the direction that the channel is going we're going to set up something that's just the basics we're going to step by step through shelter and water collection, disinfection, and fire, and so on and so on, cordage making, all that stuff. The basics, then we're gonna go and uh, do some more advanced skills, some more primitive skills, replacing kit items with primitive means, things like that. So I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the channel, like I said, and I hope you guys are ready for the channel to grow even more and some more and more exciting videos and series to come. This has been William Myers from Manus Outdoors. Please remember to hit subscribe, liking my video helps me and my channel out a lot. Appreciate our reviews, comments, and support, and hopefully we'll see you out in the woods. That dog is serious with that, like, Never fails, man. Dog always gets in. right? <laughs> Never fails. Yep, 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 yeah, yapping bastard. Kids, can't take them anywhere, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're in the water. Yeah, I know. Get it from him because he'll sit there and chew it. <laughs> Alright guys, well this has been Manus. This has been I do it every time. This has been Manus Outdoors. Three, two, one. Alright guys, well this is when William this is William. This is William Wheeling Mars. Come on man, force comp your way through this video. Alright guys, well this has been William Myers from Manus Outdoors, and that's the yapping ass dog next camp over. <laughs>